Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be going over Microsoft Publisher 2016 and specifically newsletters and what are the advantages of using the newsletters medium. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see on my screen here I'm currently looking at my featured templates. If you ever want to view all of the newsletter templates that Publisher has to offer just go ahead and click right here on built in. When you go into built in you're going to see all the different types of publications that Publisher can uh, build using a template and so it's in alphabetical order so I'm going to scroll right down here to where it says newsletters. Okay so newsletters are basically a distribution uh, process or a distribution publication uh, that can be sent through mail, electronic, bulk mail, anything like that and you can talk about your company, your organization, your small business, anything like that and it usually contains information like current events uh, as well as uh, information about your company. So uh, when you're creating your newsletter you're gonna go ahead and click on newsletters right here and one of the first things that you have to think about is well what template would be a good one for uh, your business so you can see down here we have all of our templates as well as more installed templates so I'm just going to choose one that I like over here called nature okay so I'll click on nature right there and you'll notice that when you click nature you'll see that nature now displays along the pane on the right side as well as uh, a preview and the color scheme now the color scheme font scheme business information page size and uh, customer address can all be adjusted at this time so what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color scheme right here and I'm gonna change it to orange okay and so you can see orange is right there that'll change all of the templates within the template thumbnail gallery as well as the one within our preview gallery on the right side and then I'm going to choose a font scheme that works well so in this case I'm going to choose urban and you can see that on the first line is the name of the actual font scheme and then the second line contains the title font and then the third line of each one contains the um, uh, main text font. So in this case we have trebuchet and Georgia. So all of my main titles and headings will be in trebuchet and then the uh, main text will be in Georgia. Okay. Now if you have business information I am not going to add that to this template so if you are working with a business you could just go ahead and click right there and create a new business information set. That way each time you use Publisher it'll open up uh, uh, when you use this. okay. Uh, so then right down here you have your page size and you can choose either a two page spread or a one page spread. I'm going to use the two, pa two page spread for this uh, template to show you and I'm not going to include the customer address. I'm just going to click create and so you can see here uh, newsletters can be created inside of Publisher and you can see what it looks like. Now notice this is a little bit different from a brochure or from a flyer because we have our first page right here and newsletters typically open up like a book so you'll see page two and three listed along the pane on the right side and I'll go ahead and click that now and you'll see it kind of looks like a book. You have your inside story headlines all throughout here and then you could go right over here and you can see the last page. So again, a newsletter will open up uh, just like a book and close like a book. So this will be our last page. So the good thing about this is you could actually add multiple pages in the middle if you have more stories to write about. Like I said, this is usually the type of publication that gets sent out by bulk mail or even electronically. You could convert this to a PDF and have it read uh, in a digital form. Okay, so that's something that's also nice. Uh, if you're running an office or you have a reception area, uh, newsletters are often good to have out there because it will uh, inform your your clients or your customers about what you were, uh, what's going on in your business and different options that they have as far as services or anything like that. So one of the main things that you have to know is who's going to be reading your stories. That's going to be very important when you are writing your stories. And then um, you know know about your your audience. The more you know about your audience, you need to ask um, why would they want to read your stories? Why do they want to read your newsletters? Okay, now if you figure out that, then it's going to be a lot easier to write in your actual stories uh, and work on your communication. Uh, the good thing about this is it's a pretty co low cost way of uh, distribution and you can do this for um, mass production both on a mailing level as well as a um, 
uh, digital level. So hopefully this has explained a little bit about what a newsletter is and the types of stories that you want to think about when creating your newsletters. I'm going to be going over the details on how to work within Publisher within this playlist. So if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more. Uh, and if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.